Alright, we don't got many packs here, just because I opened, like, a bunch of packs in the last clip. So, I'm just gonna finish, since, like, only a few days later before I upload at least, like, the next No Money Spent, um, this came out. So, we're just gonna do this real quick, add it on to the No Money Spent, and, uh, see what happens. So, if you saw in the last clip, though, we did pull 99 Anthony Rendon from our free pack. I am debating selling him, but at the same time, he's filthy. He's really good. He's really, really good. And I'm really considering keeping him. I'm definitely considering it. But I'm not fully sure yet. Depends on what happens on this free pack here. Honestly, I don't know if it depends on this free pack. I might just go ahead and sell him. Just so I can get um, base guys to finish more steps towards the new finests. Uh, if you haven't seen them, I'll share them off probably show them off right here right yeah so we got 99 nolan arenado 98 Catel Marte, 98 lindor gotta say this card dis a fucking voiding uh the hitting is really fucking bad in my opinion for a finest card that's a 98 overall it's like man like what the fuck 98 josh bell though uh 97 fernando tatis jr 97 jack flaherty 96 eugenio suarez um, 96 Jordan Alvarez, 96 Yasmani Grandal, and 96 Austin Meadows. Again, a lot of fucking hitters. <sighs> two, two outfielders in this one? Three. Three outfielders. And then we got, I think, two shortstops. Uh, and two third basemen and a catcher. A lot of we're getting a lot of dupes for positions but that's just because it's our voting it really shows that we just uh we're not really smart about our votes we kind of just choose whoever Emilio Pagan in my opinion should have been 100% chosen over Austin Meadows especially for convenience too that would have been a really nice card to have um over another outfielder who can't really field too well uh we'll open the championship series pack first this is going to be free stubs uh, looks like he's going for a lot and not you you all right go ahead and put them on the market uh, if they're only going for like 6k if they're in like the sevens I'll sell them uh, but if they're not then I'm not even gonna bother okay so who do I who did I pick pick to you okay you're at 8k that's not bad okay getting a good bit out of him and then I chose Zach Britton I think Yep, and he's going for 8,800. All right, that's pretty good. I'll definitely take that. It's like 15K uh, once you take away the tax. All right, finest set three. When it comes down to it, I really don't know if like Fernando Tatis or any of those guys are in base round. Um, I don't know the difference between the base round and the rare round. Like, I don't know who's in what. But 41 home runs, not Nolan Arenado, um, not Fernando Tatis. Okay, Josh Bell. Josh Bell. All right. We will be keeping this card just because we are doing finest. I am collecting them. And I actually do like this Josh Bell quite a bit. Um, is he in the rare round? I don't know. A 98 overall first baseman who does rake. I don't know if this guy's in the base round or not. Uh, it doesn't really tell you. So it's like, he could be. He could not be. He does look like, I mean, three. Do they do three and then the rest are in rare? Or in base? I mean one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I think I got a rare round guy right there. I'm thinking I did. I don't know though. There's nothing that really tells me. I mean it definitely looks like it because it goes Arenado, Catel Marte, um well, Francisco, then Josh Bell. Maybe. Uh how much does he go for? Twenty-three K. Fuck he's base. Wow, dude, he's base. He's the same overall in everything, yet, and he even sticks up here with these guys, yet he's still base. How much is. Oh, fuck. Why didn't I sell him before? I don't know. Now we only have what? 11. We need 14 just to get to JT Real Muto. It's gonna take a good bit, guys. It's gonna take a good fucking bit. Alright, well. Do I stick him? I'm going to stick him into the team, actually. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, he definitely makes it to the team. For sure, it's my first baseman. Because I'm pretty bored of this guy. I did pick up Mitch Garver. That's a guy I did pick up. 
Uh, Tim Anderson, I picked him up too. I didn't even realize that. I don't think he's gonna go in here over anybody though. He's hitting 504 at bats. Mitch Garver rakes. He's a guy who's more of a contact hitter. I'll put him in over Bryce. How about that? I'll do that. All right. So, where could he hit in the lineup? Josh Bell. Do I have him hit right there? This is the account where Jim Edmonds is, yeah, raking. I'm thinking maybe, you know what? Yeah, I'll put him right there. The switch hitting is definitely just a, a part of him that makes him a lot more intriguing to put in the power spot. He's got the 95 vision with 100 plus power on both sides, and he's a switch hitter. Can't say no to putting him in the power area. And then we'll do that. Okay. All right, so we are 588 rating. We're just gonna jump right into a game because I got nothing to do. We haven't played a game in a good bit and there's not much going on right now. So we're just gonna go jump into one. But before we do, I don't know if I've done a little update, but All-Star, oh, I haven't. Because All-Star is complete. I forgot to mention, All-Star collection complete. Wow, I completely forgot to bring that up. I don't know what came across my mind, but I just completely forgot to bring up for the fact that I completed this. Uh, but next, we'll be doing the hardware collection, where we're 24 out of 30. Uh, these guys are pretty hard to acquire, actually. None of them are really cheap. Nobody really sells them uh, when I put in a buy order. Uh, signature, we're not, yeah, we're, we're 19060. We're slowly making progress out of like the free guys I'm getting and the cheap guys. That's really how I'm working with it right now until I um, actually have to start buying people, which will be soon. It will be soon where I start focusing on that. But once I finish hard, well, right now, honestly, I'm focusing on finest. I'm focusing on acquiring these cards right now. And then I'm going right back to doing the Honest Wagner. But right now, I want to collect those because they're fucking, they're fun and they're good and they're, the, they're like the best cards. They're becoming the best cards to get right now because they're really elite they're juiced as fuck it's insane but uh yeah 580 rating let's get into a game both got juan marichal we also got by the way i didn't point this out we have billy williams in left field uh in this video in this gameplay just because uh i acquired him uh through sony partners i kind of just grinded for him i didn't really look at his lineup i saw anthony rendon there I saw a few pieces that were pretty solid he's 208 and 157 that is a solid player. That is a solid player, for sure. There we go. All right, we both get out of our innings fine. Both allow a hit, but nothing more. It's a base hit. All right. We score a run and we got third and first with w nobody out actually. I was gonna say one out, but nobody out. We pudge up. And that's another base hit. All right, we got second and first. We scored another run and we still got nobody out. The pitcher is up, Juan Marichal, who can actually hit. And we're on the one and oh count. What a pit. Oh my god, what a swing. We are up 5 nothing. There we go. My god, that was a scary inning, yet it shouldn't have been. Alright, you're in don'ts back up. Ooh! Hit down the line. It's another double back to back. Alright. One out. We score another run. We got six now. Don't know what I was doing. Why would you pitch another inside fastball? I just hit a double with that, and you pitch it again? All right, he's going to make it. That's another run, man. We scored seven on one, Marichal. Not trying to strike him out or anything. Just trying to get him to swing and do that. There you go, Tatis. Come on, man. You can make a play like that, but you can't just pick up a ball. You can't pick up a ball with his glove, but can barehand it like that. This is going to be a quit. 
I wouldn't be surprised to be honest. Seven nothing in the fourth inning. You got two hits. It's rough. Seconds left. This guy has been paused for two minutes. Uh, I swear to God, if I see Friendly Quit show up, I swear, man. You've played like what, 300 games? He's like 200, 157, something like that. Over 300 games. If you dare do that kind of cheesy shit, no, you're gonna unpause at one second left. That's pathetic. Wow, that's an old strat I haven't seen in a long time. Try and get a guy. You basically just try and get a guy to quit by waiting them out. It's like I'm up 7-0 in ranked seasons. You think I'm going to quit because I, you're pausing for two minutes of my time? No, you're just wasting both of our times is really what you're doing. Now if he accidentally pauses once, he kind of fucks himself. He gets a base hit with Griffey. My center fielder and left fielder were just taking really weird routes to that ball. an awkward hit but Jim actually might throw him out nope you weren't staying at first Josh Bell you don't do anything right dude <sighs> and there it is oh okay apparently he can unpause yeah that's funny so he can cheese by pausing for that long and then still doesn't get punished because he unpauses right after great I mean it's fine at the same time I get to play through the game longer but Jesus Christ, everything's going strange all of a sudden. Pudge, you gotta block the ball, man. You got that diamond fielding for a reason. Wait, they didn't call that a swing? What? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, he doesn't swing. Oh. You lose, man. Fuck that. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, fuck him. At the, I'll take the win. I'm on no money spent, boys. I'm trying to get the World Series. If I look like the bad guy for doing that, that's fucked up. Because that is completely his fault. I was up 7-0. I was in a bit of a jam. Probably going to get up it. Maybe you'd score a run or two. But at the end of the day, I'd probably end up winning the game. But no, you pause for two fucking minutes, dude. That's your own fault. It's your own fault. It's your own fault. Yeah, it's your own, yeah, it's your own fault for doing that. Don't do that. Uh, but yeah. We win the game. One mayor shawl's now gone. 13.2 innings scoreless. Nice. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hit thumbs up button if you enjoy. Subscribe for content like this. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.